Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important questions, which is how to sort a list of employees using salary attribute. I attended an interview with l and and I got this question. So let's get started. For this program, I have created an employee class, which has two attributes, name and salary. And I have created three objects of employee with the salary attribute as 15,000, 25,000 and 5,000. And I've added these three employees to our list. So now we have three employees in the list and the goal is to sort this list in the ascending order of their salary. So to sort any list using stream API, it's a three step process. The first step is to create stream out of your list. So to create the stream, we are going to use uh, stream method. Stream is a sequence of objects. Then to sort this, we have to use the sorted method, which accepts a comparator. Comparator is equivalent to the second step, which is adding sorting condition. So let's try to add the sort condition using comparator. Comparator expects a generic type. The generic type is going to be employee in our case. And it has one method known as compare. Compare method has two references to employee, O1 and O2. And our attribute to sort is salary. So let's try to write that condition. O1 dot get salary minus O2 dot get salary. So this is the main condition where our employees will get sorted. After sorting, the next step is to collect the results in the list format. So to collect the result, there is a method known as collect and collect expects collectors dot to list. To list is the method which provides uh, the output in the list format. So after this, we have to collect the result uh, in the list. So let's try to create a reference to the list and this will be your sorted list. So after this step, your sorted list will contain the output of employees in the sorted manner. Let's try to print the output. I am going to print the output of sorted list. So I'll run the program and see the output. It's 5,000, 15,000 and 25,000. We sorted the employees based on their salary. Now. We sorted using comparator, but there is one more way of sorting the list, which is using your Lambda expression. So we are going to see that next, how to sort using Lambda expression. This is the main part. O1 comma O2 are the arguments. I'm going to write the Lambda expression using O1 and O2. So O1 dot get salary is the attribute which we are going to use for sorting and O2 dot get salary. So this is the Lambda expression, which is used to sort the list. This is equivalent to passing the comparator. We created an instance of comparator and then added the condition into the compare method. So this one line is equivalent to that. So let's try to see if the list is sorted using Lambda expression. Yes, the list is still sorted using the Lambda expression and in the ascending order. If I want to sort the list in the descending order, then it's very simple. I just want to change the reference of one on one and O2 objects. So I just changed the reference and if I run this, you will see the list is sorted in descending order 25,000, 15,000, and then 5,000. So that's it for today's interview question. I hope you are enjoying the series. Thanks for watching.